The call goes to the member for Forest. Thank yeah, you, yeah, Madam Speaker. Yeah, yeah. My question is to the Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Will the minister update the House on the numbers of illegal boat arrivals reaching Australia? How is Operation Sovereign Borders undermining the business model of the people smugglers? I call the Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the member for Forest for her question because it seems the Leader of the Opposition still is a little unsure about the progress of Operation Sovereign Borders, which has meant for the last 75 days Madam Speaker, there has not been a successful people smuggling operation or venture to reach Australia. And I say that because this morning he has said there is no doubt that the tempo of operations has put an additional strain on our border protection fleet. Now, I know he may think he was referring to an article in The Australian, but the article he probably should read in The Australian was this one from August of 2012, which states, asylum demands breaking Navy fleet as patrol boats crack up. And it reads, Australia's Navy patrol boats are literally cracking up under the strain of intercepting the surge in asylum seeker vessels. Now, Madam Speaker, that was the history under the previous government when they ran the most extensive 24-hour water taxi service in the history of this country, as boat after boat, more than 800, turned up on their watch, Madam Speaker. And that was the history. That was the history. Under the former manager, under the now manager of opposition business and former minister, we used to have an average, Madam Speaker, of 26 boats turning up every single month. The member for Gorton, when he was minister, we had an average of 37 boats turning up every month. For the last two months, there's been none, Madam Speaker, that have turned up with a successful venture to Australia. And I'm asked about the impact, the impact of Operation Sovereign Borders, and in particular our maritime operations, has been devastating on people smugglers, Madam Speaker. People smugglers are having calls on them to hand the money back by the people who have ended up back in Indonesia. They're saying, we want the money back, and the people smugglers are running and hiding. And This is happening for one reason, Madam Speaker, because our policies are no bluff. They're no threat. They're real. They happen. If boats seek to come to illegally to Australia, then they are removed from our waters. That's what happens under our policies. We don't trumpet it. We do it. And In the doing, you get the results. That's what you get. At the last election, Madam Speaker, those opposite took a bluff to the election. They took an absolute bluff to the election. And what they had was an invisible 10,000-man camp on Manus Island, which the manager of opposition business now used to boast about. There was detailed resettlement arrangements, Madam Speaker, which looked like this: an absolute blank sheet of paper. And I table the former government's detailed resettlement arrangements for people in Papua New Guinea, Madam Speaker. I table it. It's a blank sheet of paper. They left the hard work, Madam Speaker, to this government to clean up the mess of more than 800 arrivals, a capacity at Manus Island which was under-resourced, with arrangements which were underdone and not thought through. This government knows, Madam Speaker, you don't bluff the boats away. You have policies which get the job done, and that's what we've got. I call the honourable member for O'Connor. 